Hey everyone, this is Blue Rabbit here, and today I'm really excited to be unboxing the Nendrid Petite um, Stage 2. Okay, so here is the lovely, lovely box again. Um, if you've seen the, f if you haven't seen the first video, I would go uh, watch that first um, because I'm going to make this unboxing a lot shorter and. Um, I'm still going to show you how they package the box, but uh, everything else will be pretty, cut pretty short and most of it will be um, showing you the figures itself because I don't want to make such long videos. Um, I know, you know, it's hard to sit through all that, so make sure you watch that first video because that one is more of a detailed unboxing, I believe. Okay, so again I ordered from Nippo Nyasan. And th this time they packaged it quite differently from than before, which is quite interesting. Okay, and so they do wrap it in bubble wrap, which is pretty nice, and there was paper in the box, which is also great. Another reason I want to make this unboxing really fast is because it is quite hot where I'm living right now, and um, if I have the air conditioner or the fan on, it makes quite a lot of noise, and I don't want that to show up on um, the video too much. So, alright. So this is the Nandre Petite set of Utano Prince on Revolution Stage Two, and these are the different options you can get. Here's the sides of the box. It does come with a secret character, which. Um, <laughs> is pretty obvious if you do know the series quite well. Um, this is made by, this, these are um, smaller androids, and they're made by the Orange Rouge Company, um, which is a collaboration between Good Smile and Max Factory. Cut this open. Let me just open this up. And again, as with the other previous box, this is just an empty piece of cardboard. It does also come with a background. And this background is for Quartet Night. The first one was for um, Starish, and this one is for Quartet Night. Oops. There you go. So, this is the one for Quartet Night. So, this is the background that was in that first episode of Quartet Night um, when they appeared. Yep, it's actually very pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, so that off to the side. And here is the inside of the box. Let's just shake one of the boxes out really quickly and I can show you what it looks like on the outside. So these are in the style of blind boxes that you can buy individually in Japanese stores. Um, but overseas, usually they just sell them as a set. So that is it. And I wanted all of them, so you know, I wanted to buy the set. Um, these were an exclusive, and so you had to buy it from certain stores, um, and you couldn't buy it in the normal Japanese stores, um, which is why I had to buy it from Nippo Alright, let's just get straight into the unboxing. Alright, so we're going to start off with our first box. Um, I'm just going to be going um, from left to right and then backwards, just in case it matters to anyone. And the first one is... <gasps> oh my god, it was meant to be, you guys! So if you can't tell, this is I. And if you can't tell from all my background pictures today, he is my favorite. It's a pretty character. Oh my gosh, we're just opening him right away. Oh my gosh, it's I. He looks. All right, I'm taking him out of the bag. All right. I got new scissors, by the way, because my other ones are just horrible. Here we go. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna take off all the plastic on them. And then I will show you a closer. So here's I. Ah, he looks so good. I am loving the gradient on his hair and that expression and that pose. Like, 
and the outfit. You guys, I'm just super happy right now. It looks great. And I love all this detail they put into his eyes and his hair. And you know, <laughs> even his shoes and his shirt. Oh my god. Okay, so what else comes in the package? Um, if you didn't see before, is this arm to hold him onto his little tiny base. Um, as stated before, I really wish they sort of either offered customized bases or it came with a customized base. I'm only going to show this the first time. So the base is just a clear, simple base. It says things like made in China and it comes with like a little arm and you just stick that in there and you stick the other character on this small side. Alright, and here is our second box. You know, I already got eye. I am like super happy right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, the second one is... It's the secret! Oh my gosh, cute! So in case you guys did not know, the secret is Harukatan! She is the main protagonist, oh well not main protagonist, but she is the female protagonist of the Utapi series. And here is little Haruka. I really love the attention to detail they do on the hair. I mean, everything is great. I love the underwear teeth. Yep, and there is Haruka. All right, and here goes our third box. Third box. Yes. Ah, it's that she is. A closer look at Seshiru. His hair is a little more wobbly than the others, which is a little disappointing. It's like a bobble head. He doesn't, it might be because his hair is quite um, dark, he doesn't have as much hair gradient as the others, which is a little disappointing. Sorry, I'm going out of focus. Hair sculpt is still nice, but I do see, think he's a little bit more plain than um, I and Haruka and even the other one, the, the other set. I but I do want to be clear that he does have hair gradient, so it's not as though there is none. It's just, I guess, because it's dark, it's not as noticeable, and it definitely doesn't pick up on camera as much. And here is our fourth box. Sorry if I'm not as talkative in this video. It's getting really hot here, and. And with the lights and everything, it's getting it's a lot more difficult to uh, whoop, keep cool. Alrighty, so here is our fourth box. Oh, there we go. And it is Kamyu! So here is Kamyu. I could use his help this week because it's getting really hot. He is from the country of like I think permafrost or something. Some kind of wintry ice place and I kind of want that ice. I like the cold. <laughs> Look at that little kick on his leg. <laughs> so cute. Okay. And that was Kamyu. Alright, and here is our fifth box. Man, I'm really loving these century petites. They're just so cute. I'm so happy. Okay, and the fifth one is... Oh, oh Natsuki! Okay, this is Natsuki. Cute. So here is a closer look at Natsuki. And just so you know, his glasses aren't painted on. They're like an actual thing, but you can't... As well as I know, you cannot take them off without faking it. So here he is. I love his little hair up here. So cute. Oh my god. It does seem to wiggle a little bit, but I don't think it's um, rotatable. Very cute. <laughs> okay, so I actually decided to check if these glasses you can take off, and it seems like you can. He has sort of... See? So you can pull them out. Um, there are like little slits there in the hair for the glasses to fit in. And so if you take them out, 
You might need a different facial expression, but you know, it just looks like a very happy Satsuki. <laughs> Alright, and here is our last mentor to teach. This last one should be Shotan, I believe. It's the only one I'm missing for my set, and it is... It's Shotan! Nice! And because Shotan always wears a hat, of course he comes with a separate hat. And here he is, close up. I, oh, I really love the hair gradient they did on him. Um, I know some people might not like it because it's like pink instead of um, like a dark kind of gold or something like that or yellow, but I think it fits him very well and I do believe that his hair does have slight pink tinges in his original concept, so I think it's perfect. I love all the detail they did to him and yes, I just, I think he came out looking really great, especially when you consider also did his little matching hat. So here is his hat. It's it lo it's just like a circular hat. And you just put it on and it stays on. And yes, technically um, there's no magnet or anything like holding it in place. So it does come off quite easily. So that's something you should watch out for if anyone else wants to order him. Um, and yes, you can let the other Nendra Petites wear his hat, but they probably don't fit as well as it does on him because it's meant for show. And here is another look at the Utapin androids. Um, they're just so cute. I'm really glad I got them. Um, they are uh, the Utapri set is actually my first Android Petites, and I have to say, despite their small size, I really do like them. I don't know if I'm gonna actually collect any more, um, but I do, I do like them, and I'm really glad I bought them. Alright, and that's all of them together, and they just look so freaking adorable as a whole group. Um, I can't wait to display them on my shelves um, <clears throat> with the included background pictures. And well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the Nendra Petite Utapri Revolutions Stage 2 set. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Alright, guys, see you later. Bye bye!